Hey everybody, I'm uh, going to be installing this JNL oil separator. Uh, just got it in. Bruce was wanting to get a black one, but it was going to take a little longer to get, so I just went ahead and went with this uh, satin or silver or whatever you want to call it. And it's going to mount right over here off the battery. I've got a 2018 F-150 with a 3.5 EcoBoost. I probably should have done this a long time ago, but originally I I'd leased this truck. And when my lease came up, um, market value was a lot more than uh, what the payoff was. So I was like, you know what? I might as well just buy this thing and start off with a bunch of equity. And I really like the truck, so I decided I want to keep it. So just doing this to just to add to the longevity. Uh, it keeps um, basically your uh, ventilation here where um, oil would uh, sometimes recycle back in to the manifold. Uh, this separates that. So you don't get an oily residue buildup in your intake, and that's probably not great for the engine to uh, let that happen and accumulate anyway. So we're going to start this installation. Right, first step, uh, our first step is going to be taking off this engine cover and use a 10 millimeter. So let's see, get that going off there. Then next thing to do is going to be your disconnect these two lines, this line here. Or at least attempt to. Going to have to turn the camera off there to get a little leverage on this. So what was giving me a little trouble here is this. You get a, probably because this got 75,000 miles on it, it's a little sticky. So you've got to get that really cranked. And then this one that went into the intake, uh, the tab was underneath. So I just got a screwdriver head and just kind of pushed on it until it uh, came loose. So yeah, it was just a little sticky because it's been on there a long time. Next, we're gonna pop this wiring harness uh, mount loose uh, so we can Open up a place to uh, screw in our mount for the can right here. Or right there anyway, now that our finger's out of the way. That took some uh, tugging to get that out of there. I ended up having to use a pair of pliers to get that one out. It was definitely in there. All right, now we've got our uh, second hole drilled here. You just use the original hole from where you popped out the harness for that one. And drill another hole here. All right, then we're gonna go back with our 10 millimeter. And do the same thing with the other hole that we just drilled. Uh, if that J clip won't, if the little clip that they supply won't work, there's also a nut you can use. Because I'm having a little difficulty getting, there's like a, a ridge or something that it's hitting, so I may have to use the, uh, the nut instead on that second hole. Okay, next we're going to uh, take the Splat Phillips head screws and screw that top into that mount right there. On the 90 degree fitting, you're going to clip it right here. And on this 45 degree angle, that one's going to go to the intake manifold. Um, so I'm going to work on fitting that. Just wanted to uh, get that sorted out before I attach the can and had to reroute everything. Going to want to route the uh, 45 degree one underneath your turbo inlet tube here or whatever this is specifically click it on and then this little guy right here i'm gonna go snap and now i'm gonna Got the fittings connected. Now I'm gonna screw that in. I'm gonna see what's going on with this tube. Maybe I can reroute it somewhere better. Alrighty, give me a minute. All right, we got that installed. I only have one thing I'm gonna keep an eye on is kind of not a fan of how that tube is kind of rubbing up against my uh, positive 
right here because uh, that's kind of an edge there and I can see that rubbing through and eventually cutting that. But uh, we'll keep an eye on it. And I'm just gonna put the engine cover back on and that'll be it. All right, it's all wrapped up. And this used to be some kind of insulation blanket around the battery. It has just disintegrated over the last four years, but don't know if that makes a difference, but everything else looks tight and good to go.